Get into the Lenovo ThinkPad 13 BIOS so you can adjust things like turning the trackpad on and off uh, and adjusting uh, boot settings for the drivers and drives etc. Let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you need to check is that your function keys are on. They may or may not be on. On this unit, the ThinkPad 13, they are on by this green indicator over here. Sorry about the camera work. This green LED on top of the escape button that's either going to be on or off and you can toggle that by holding down the function key and then toggling escape you have to hold that down escape on uh, or uh, toggled it turns the green light on or off and then uh, toggling it again turns that green LED on so that we know our function keys are working for this unit uh, so um, because it's so quick I had set this up already let's restart the unit and then we just keep drilling on F1 just keep drilling on F1 don't hold it down just keep pressing it every one second or so and then that will uh, at the time of boot up you need to basically intercept the BIOS from loading so that it doesn't do that uh, or so that it goes into the BIOS settings so let's just keep on pressing that there boom entering setup you saw it right there for a moment possibly and then we head into our BIOS and then there's a bunch of stuff in here you can mess around with and if you don't know what you're doing you probably shouldn't be doing that uh, this video is for people who you know are not familiar with getting this particular unit into BIOS mode because it's so fast it's, it's often missed you can also use F12 if you have that enabled to uh, select your boot device and that's an option here in the BIOS but right now I'm going to go over to startup and in startup I'm going to head down to the um, uh, let's go down to boot and I'm I'm setting the uh, options here you can have both uh, the uh, boot um, protocol or the interface protocol is, is what I think this is I'm not sure uh, you used to have ACHI for advanced host control interface but now we have UEFI and legacy so I believe they're category exact categorizing everything like ACHI or HCI uh, IDE uh, and possibly even SATAs are all considered legacy when it comes to this particular BIOS. So sometimes you'll need that. Sometimes if you're installing a new hard drive or doing something like that that need that doesn't have drivers, like if you're trying to install a new OS and the OS can't see the drive because it doesn't have the driver, you'll be needing to use legacy. And so that's what that is for. And so uh, in this case, we're just going to use both UFEI, your EFI is uh, the most uh, current in this case, and you'll use that in uh, whenever you want to um, have the faster speeds and basically force legacy drivers off. And so that's the reason for that uh, existing even. So I'm not going to actually do that there because I actually did that previously. Uh, and in this case, I want it to choose the faster interface first. The only reason I want it to go to legacy is if I need to access possibly, you know, maybe an old uh, 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 flash drive that uh, you know isn't working in that protocol or whatever and then of course we want to go out here to save let's see um, the other options are quick enable boot if you want to go into diagnostic diagnostics brings up the legacy BIOS screen that'll tell you how many drives you have uh, the CPU some information about the RAM and all those things that you really don't care about seeing every time you're booting up a laptop because usually laptops you're in a rush to do things and you don't need to wait those few extra seconds to see what's going on with the machine. I'm trying to find where um, I enabled and disabled, okay here it is, uh, the boot device list a function 12 option, sorry this is so shaky, I'm trying to do this with one hand, uh, that will be enabled or disabled and so when you want to be able to press F12 here to select what you're going to boot off, let's say that you want to boot off of this flash drive then you have that inserted here and you hit F12 at the same time we're hitting F1 during the boot up sequence then you can select where you're going to boot from for that uh, time and so let's say that you want to run Acronis and you want to restore the laptop because it got a virus or something like that or you need to reload for some reason then that's when you would want to use the F12 to boot into the alternate options such as this flash drive but that's only going to work for you and be available if you have list 12 options enabled and I have that enabled right now because you know that there's not much security risk on this laptop it's my own personal one and it's not 
not exposed to being stolen or anything like that. And so um, that's it for those settings, and I'm going to get out of here right now because there's a bunch of other stuff that I don't really need to have, have time to cover right now. So I'm going to save those uh, settings and exit, and that's how you access the uh, boot, uh, the BIOS on a ThinkPad 13.